שבוע טוב, הגו תבוך. We are told, and we know from the Baal Shem Tov, from the Baal Shem Tov's own teachings, that we need to serve Hashem the Simcha, to serve Hashem, God, with happiness, with the goodness of our heart. I want to dedicate tonight's um, Baal Shem Tov story to the memory of the Shliach of the Rebbe in Lima, Peru, the city where I was born and raised. Um, Schneur Zalman, Uri Blumenfeld, uh, who uh, returned to his maker, completed his shlichus, his mission in this world, this Shabbos. Last night, as I sat at the table, there was a special light, a special gleaming, and I know from the teachings of the Baal Shem Tov, from the stories of the Baal Shem Tov, that this happens when the gates of Gan Eden, of the Garden of Eden, up in heaven, open up to let in a righteous soul. The story I'm going to tell is the story 51 of the Ship Chia Baal Shem Tov, and it's called Be Careful with hurting or offending, mocking the wife of Rav Gershom. In general, one is never to mock or to hurt anyone. We should be careful. There is such a thing as Yitzchak, as appears in the parish of the week, laughter, tzchok, but not at the expense of hurting someone else. The tzchok, the laughter, should include those who are with us. Says the author of the book, Ot Shamati Merav Pinchas. I heard from this Rav Pinchas the Melamet that we mentioned before, that who was uh, very close to Rav Leib, the Magid of Lodizim. When Rav Gershon, the brother-in-law of the Baal Shem Tov, went to live in Eretz HaKodesh, in the Holy Land, the minhag of the Jews there, the custom of the Jews there, was to sift the water, to filter the water, because there were uh, insects, there were mosquitoes that uh, uh, put uh, their eggs in the water and they were in the water, therefore it was uh, customary to always uh, filter or sift this water, um, both the water they use for drinking as a water they use for cooking and, drink, and washing their, their dishes. Rab, uh, Gershon's wife didn't know this as they first arrived and um, it was not the minhag of the Medinas of the, co the countries of Eastern Europe to do so. So she uh, used the water or drank the water without sifting it, without filtering it. and. Um, the women of the Jewish community saw this and laughed, mocked her. They, w one woman even made a song mocking her, and when the wife of Rab Gershon heard the song, she felt very hurt, and she came crying to her husband, and he asked her, who is the woman who did this to you? And she pointed at this woman as she was leaving the synagogue, and Rav Gershon says, can this woman speak? Is she able to speak? And in that moment, the woman became mute, was not able to talk anymore. Short but uh, strong story about not causing harm, not mocking really anyone, but especially we're talking about the wife of Tzadik. Short and sweet. May it be a good week for everyone. Shavua Tov. Agote Boch.